Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Dragon Quest VIII. Let's go ahead and continue on down the road. Uh, there is a little tiny road that goes off to the west, but uh, we're going to hold off on that. Iron Scorpions. I wonder if I can intimidate them. Let's try it. Excellent. And <laughs> they moonwalk off. All right, perfect. All right, so we will head to Argonia. And we can explore this area uh, a little bit later. All right, what am I doing? I need to uh, call my, uh, my kitty. Come along, kitty. Oh, hello. I see someone up there. Not so machos appear. Uh, we'll go ahead and take you guys out, or try to. So the Iron Scorpion is probably the last one that we'll end up taking out. MP there. Yeah, they're hitting hard. They're hitting pretty hard. Okay, you're gonna cast Oomph on. Oh no, <laughs> that is that is not what I would would have wanted you to uh, use that on. All right. See about taking care of the uh, Iron Scorpion then. Okay, one down. That's good. Second one down. Perfect. Excellent. Alright. Okay, you're gonna cast Oomph on yourself. Nice. Okay, he's down. And so is he. Enemies are defeated, 562 experience points, 173 gold coins. The Iron Scorpion drops a treasure chest. Ald opens it up. What? It contains an iron nail. Ald puts the iron nail into the bag. That's actually uh, not a bad uh, find. Hello, the hooded hacker appears. All right, let's go ahead and switch on over to the Steel Broadsword. I was use. I don't want use. I want, uh... Equip. Thank you. Falcon Slash. Steel Sickle. I don't think there's anything that we can get. Twin Dragon Lash. And another Cherub's Arrow. Covering uh, MP. Okay, psychs himself up. And he psychs himself up a second time. That's rude. And a third time. This is gonna hurt. I probably should have uh, healed Yangus up. Okay, well. Mm. Yeah, oomph on all. Sandman's arrow might have been a better choice. Try to put him to sleep. Okay, all. Do you want to go attack, please? Thank you. <coughs> I was hoping for. Ow! Out my face. Okay, psychs himself up. 
just to five. So that's good. Just in case. All right. Go ahead and full heal on Ald. It is extremely rude, sir. I hope that goes to uh, Yang. It's good. All right. And of course he took him out. <laughs> just gonna just gonna snooze here on the ground for a bit. The Hooded Hacker is defeated. Each party member receives 213 experience points. Party obtains 56 gold coins. The Hooded Hacker drops a treasure chest. Yangus opens it up. What? It contains a gold monster coin. Yangus puts a gold monster coin into the bag. The Hooded Hacker rises up again. The Hooded Hacker looks at the party with respect. Do you wish to add it to your uh, monster team members? Agility, not the best. Attack is good. Defense is good. Hit points are okay. Um, the fact that he also can, uh, you know, psych himself up three levels is pretty good as well. So let's see, who would I want to get rid of? Probably Salsa. <clears throat> yeah. He has slightly better attack, but worse hit points and defense. Come along, hooded hacker. <laughs> and now it's, uh. Oh, that's the wrong button. That was Yangus riding. All right, let's go ahead and uh, Zing Ald back, please. Ald does not return to life. I was really hoping that Zing would automatically work in a... Uh, uh, out of combat. There we go. I'll just go ahead and mid-heal there. So yeah, you can put anyone you want in the uh, leadership position. And it does change some uh, dialogue. I could try that at some point. At, at some points. There's a sheep up there. Don't care about the sheep. Alright. Iron scorpions and tap devils. Tap Devils, and Cherub's Arrow. Start working on getting some of that uh, 24 MP that I used to zing. Okay, he launches a flying attack. That's fine. Does the underpants dance? Good. We're all unimpressed. Launches a flying attack. Face. Iron Scorpion B gazes upon Jessica in admiration. Excellent. Eight experience points, 105 gold coins. So we have uh, the city over here. Let's cross the bridge. And I did not press that button. Is that a castle? Let's see. 
If my memory serves me correctly, this must be... Yes, it's the kingdom of Argonia. Did you really have to cause my kitty to run away? My daughter is due to marry the prince of this realm. Well, well, well. Argonia indeed. That means you'll undoubtedly meet King Clavius and Prince Charmels when you go to collect the magic mirror. Charmels, huh? And when that happens, you must keep the current condition of the princess and I absolutely secret. No, I can do that. Because I don't speak. If anyone inquires as to the purpose of your travels, tell them you are hunting the villain known as Dulmagus and nothing more. Mm-hmm. Okay. But my kitty... Two horses standing in a line. A good selection of uh, fresh water for the uh, for the kingdom. Welcome to Argonia, kingdom of His Majesty King Clavius. Yeah, just about ready to nod off. Time to go home. Howdy, Zappa. Huh? Magic mirror? <laughs> I uh, never heard of it. I wouldn't know anything about that. Hey. And if it's magic, you should try asking one of the royal magicians. Surely they'd know something. Hey. Alright, so, we got the inn, we've got uh, the weapon shop, we got the armor shop, there's an item shop over there, we've got the castle up there, and we have some other buildings. Let's go ahead and check out these buildings first. What? Ald finds a mini metal and puts it in the bag. Wait, wait, I'm not supposed to do what for the uh, barrels? Dang it! Angus uses his nose for treasure. Boy, you smell of it. There's 32 treasures somewhere around here, Gov. Well, that is uh, quite a bit, and I, there were 33. There's an ancient ritual here in Argonia where the prince has to prove he has what it takes to rule the kingdom after his father. He does that by defeating a rare monster called an Argon Lizard and bringing back its jewel as proof of his conquest. If he succeeds, he's recognized as the heir to the throne. It's sort of like a coming-of-age ceremony, I suppose. Well, it's a good thing that we're not going to have to get involved in that. I want to climb the ladder. Game, why won't you let me climb the ladder? I'll find a piece of cool cheese and puts it in the bag. So cool. The coolest of cheeses. Garters? I'll find a turban and puts it in the bag. Sleep. Next house. Anything back here? No. The royal family of Argonia are very approachable, but that doesn't mean they'll just grant every favor they're asked. But if they were in your debt somehow, then I'm sure they'd try to grant even the most demanding of wishes. All right, I can, I can, I can put them in my debt. I mean, it'd be a shame if, uh, you know, something in the kingdom got uh, got broke. Came here on your own boat? Goodness, you must have money coming out of your ears to be able to afford something like that. If you've been traveling the oceans, then maybe you've been to Trodane. The princess there is promised to our very own Prince Charmels. Uh, no, no, I, I have not. Uh, it's some place I would definitely like to go one day. Yeah. Alt finds a strong antidote and puts it in the bag. Nothing. Dare you not have garters in there, sir. 
Any garters? No. Any garters? Alt finds a hairband and puts it in the bag. Excellent. She's asleep. Get a brown... This, this giant ta round table right in the middle of your room is a terrible, terrible thing to have, sir. Hello. A peddler told me that Trodane has been taken over by thorns and that the whole place is in ruins. But it's all just some stupid rumor. I'm sure it's complete nonsense, really. Yeah, total, total nonsense. Yeah, yeah, I definitely don't, don't uh, believe that. Did you know that King Clavius had an elder brother called Eltriel? Well, apparently he gave up his title and everything and left Argonia. I don't know why, though. I uh, don't need to talk to you uh, right now. I like the uh, little pools with uh, lily pads in them. I don't know how the lily pads get enough light, but, you know, whatever. Hello? Members of the public can only go in and out of the castle during the daytime. You'll have to come back tomorrow. This is the entrance to Argonia Castle. You can only go inside during the daytime. When Prince Charmos caused all that fuss, the doors had to be kept locked day and night, night and day. But that's all over now. So you, if you come back in the morning, I can let you in. Fuss, you say? Fuss, you say? Give me more information about this fuss. This looks like another, uh, church. Why are there two churches here? Is this actually a church? I want to play the organ. Ooh, garters? Nope. It's garters. Alt finds a leather cape and puts it in the bag. Not garters, but I'll take it. Did you know about the wasteland across the sea to the northwest of here? Nobody lives there. People say that the shrine in the middle of it is filled with the darkest powers in the world. It's a place everyone's been going to for years to perform dark rites, apparently. Well, the kind of people who go in for that sort of thing, I mean. I like this building, but I'm extraordinarily confused as to uh, its purpose. Like, it does seem like another church, but... Oh, well, whatever. Let's continue to explore the town. While it still be night time. There was a real hullabaloo at the castle before, uh, before because Prince Charmos had gone missing. Sounds like they found him now, though. I think if I had come here right away, uh, before going to uh, Baccarat, then the castle would have been closed off and he couldn't get in because he would have been missing. He was probably hoping to get away while everyone was in such a fluster looking for him. But the Chancellor was quick off the mark for once and had the exit sealed so he couldn't escape. I like how the sky actually gets darker for it to be daytime. I heard the news about Abbot Francisco at Maella Abbey being assassinated. What kind of a person would kill a man of the faith like that? An evil one? Ding! I'll check that in a second. Wow, so there's a magic mirror in Argonia that dispels darkness? You certainly know your stuff. Still, the royal family employs several magicians, so I suppose it stands to reason that there'd be a lot of magical things here. More magical things. Give me more magical things. Alright, there's another door there. We may want to take that one, but uh, not just yet. Alchemy pot. All 
All right, suit of platinum mail. All the pains, a suit of platinum mail. All right, what do I want to make next? Let's make some more uh, cheese. Alright, so, Platinum Armor that reduces damage from enemy spells by 15 points. That's pretty good. Alright, that is a lot better for Ald. And that would also be better for Angelo. But Ald's defense is actually the worst right now, so... Let's go ahead and equip that. Nothing back here. Let's go in the side door. Just face to face with the wall there. Right. It sounds like Prince Charmles is trying every trick in the book to get out of the initiation. Faking illness, shutting himself away, you name it. I suppose you can't really blame him for being scared. He has to take a jewel from one of those huge, fearsome Argon lizards after all. Alt finds a clump of rennet powder and puts it in the bag. Ooh, garters? No garters. Bookshelves. What do we got? It's a book entitled The ABCs. C is for cow. There's a drawing of a cow next to the letter. Ooh. Flicking through the pages like this makes a refreshing little breeze. See Lorenzo up on the hill? He's been disin dis 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 disinherited. What does disinherited mean? It means they've been bad. It's a very interestingly designed house. Feels like there's a lot of wasted space <laughs> on the upper level. When we have the bazaar, people come here from all over the world to sell their things. The town square gets jam-packed. Ooh, I do like the sound of a bazaar. Okay, you're still saying the same thing. Our Prince Charmos tried to do a runner to Baccarat again, apparently. That's the first thing he does when he's stressed. He always turns to gambling. Sounds more like a lowlife from Pickham than a prince. I haven't been able to get inside the castle up to now because Prince Charmos was causing such a stir. But I finally got in just now and managed to get a hold of my permit for setting up shop during the bazaar. How bizarre. Welcome to the item shop. How can I serve you? Uh, what do you have? Nothing that I really care about right now. I can hardly believe it. It seems Prince Charmels has been engaged from the minute he was born. His fiancée is the princess of a country on the other side of the ocean called Trodane. People say she's a real beauty. Oh, she is a, a gorgeous filly, let me tell you. I have to keep my voice down because I don't want to be overheard. But I'm more than a little bit worried about the future when I think of Prince Charmels ruling the roost. I mean, it's hard to believe he's King Clavius' son with looks like that. Clavius is so dis distinguished and handsome, while Charmless is just, well, charmless, really. If it was just his looks that weren't 
up to scratch, it wouldn't matter, but it goes a lot deeper than that. Every time my husband opens his mouth, he comes out with something bad about Prince Charmles. I can see where he's coming from, but still... King Clavius is an excellent ruler. Under his leadership, Argonia can't fail to prosper. But it's a bit worrying to think about how things will go when it's time for Prince Charmos to take over. Imagine him in charge of politics. That's a good point about uh, any sort of uh, autocratic system. Um, as long as you've got good rulers, it will... It, it, like, And I mean good rulers. People who are good-natured, good... -natured, good you know, good values, good morals, that kind of thing. Um, things can go really well, but all it takes is uh, one not good ruler, and you have no control over that, for things to just go to pot. Welcome to Argonia, Kingdom of His Majesty, King Clavius. Are you still drunk, sir? A royal mirror? I wouldn't know about something like that. You should go and ask at the castle. Hey, he's not drunk. He can move. Alt finds a feathered cap and puts it in the bag. Welcome to the weapons and armor shop. What can I do for you? Alright. Battle axe, which is not as good for Yangus. Partisan, which is actually better. Uh, large axe, specially designed for combat. Uh, lance, a large lance that can be used for cutting as well as thrusting. Silver mail, that is slightly better for Angelo. Magic vestment, slightly better for Jessica. An enchanted garment that reduces damage from spells by two-thirds. And silver armor reduces damage from enemy spells by 20 points. Well, that's pretty good. Light shield, silver tiara. Beautiful, beautifully handcrafted piece of decorative headwear. That would be better for Jessica. All right. Well, I might need to sell some things if I want to get uh, the magical vestment and the silver mail. But we will give that uh, some thought for next time. See you then, everyone.